Hey everybody, it's Savannah Berry with Florida Sea Grant and UF IFAS Extension. I just got back from a day of scalloping and I'm excited to show you really quick the best way to shuck your scallops. The scallops I'll be shucking today were collected earlier and kept on ice throughout the day. We drained the melt water frequently in the cooler to make sure that the scallops didn't get contaminated by any of the bacteria that could have been in the melt water. Make sure before you start shucking that you start with clean hands, washing for 20 seconds with warm water, making sure to clean under your fingernails so that you have thoroughly cleaned hands. You're also going to want to make sure that any tools you use for shucking are nice and clean. I'm going to use a scallop shucking knife, but you can easily use a teaspoon or even an oyster shucking knife for this task. So the easiest way to shuck a scallop is to find the dark shell. If you look at a scallop closely, you'll see that they have both a light and a dark shell. So if you place the dark shell upward, it's just going to make your life a little bit easier. And hopefully if you've placed your scallops on ice or kept them cold, they'll be nice and gaping open like this. So what you want to do is look down there and cut the top of the muscle off of the top shell, which would be the dark shell. You can set that shell aside. And I like to do this with part with my fingers. Some people like to do it with the tool that they're using, but you can easily just go in and scoop all of the viscera or guts, as some people like to call it, off of the shell all at once. And you want to end up with just the muscle. This is the adductor muscle. This is what the scallop uses to open and close its shell. And uh, this is what you want to end up with, with no traces of any of the viscera left on the meat. If you do end up with pieces of viscera on the meat, you want to do your best to get those off. And then also, additionally, after you finish shucking all of your scallops, you're going to want to just give them a quick rinse with water to make sure that you don't have any of that viscera remaining on them. And then from here, it's extremely simple. You just cut this muscle right off the bottom shell, and there you go and go ahead and transfer that into a container or a place where they can stay cool. I like to stack two ice, uh, two bowls together with ice in the lower bowl so that the scallops stay cold in the upper bowl. I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial on how to shuck base scallops. Please make sure to follow all of the best practices shown on your screen and also in the video description. And let us know in the comments if this video was helpful to you. Have a happy and safe scallop season, everybody.